Forgiving others is an important but difficult skill. It can be easy to get stuck thinking about how others have wronged us or messed something up and want to stay angry with them. But when we do that, we can miss out on the great opportunities of having relationships with other people. The truth is, we're all imperfect, so if you never forgive anyone, soon enough you might find yourself having a hard time keeping any relationships. Forgiveness is hard, but it's worth it, and God asks us to forgive as God forgave us. When thinking about forgiveness, I think back to when it was one of my friend's birthdays. Birthdays for her are a really big deal, which is understandable. I love celebrating birthdays too. But she started to get into the mindset that it was her birthday, so absolutely everything had to go her way. This friend of mine, who is usually so considerate and thoughtful, began to make decisions and do actions that were only for her best interest, putting down and making things a lot harder for others around her. Even as we were trying to plan and organize her birthday celebration for her, it felt like she was stomping all over us. Wanting to have a good birthday is one thing, but another when it comes at the expense of the people trying to help celebrate you. At first, I began to feel angry. All of a sudden, she was making all of these decisions without taking anyone else into account. And then she was leaving us to clean up the messes. The miscommunications, the selfish behavior, and the hurtful words were making me mad. But I tried to slow down my angry thoughts and remind myself that she is human too. It was her birthday and she was super excited. We're all humans that make mistakes. We can all get caught up in what we want over what others might want or need sometimes. I reminded myself that this was not a norm for her. It was probably due to it being her birthday week as well as it had been a stressful few weeks for her. I also tried to forgive her. Colossians 3.13 reads, Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Even when others offend us and cause us grievances, God asks for us to forgive as He forgave us. And God loves us so much that He sent His Son Jesus to die a painful death and then be raised to life so that our sins would be forgiven. In God's eyes, we are truly forgiven. God also wants us to forgive like He forgave us. As imperfect humans, there is a lot that God has forgiven us of. God forgives us because He wants to have a relationship with us. He looks at us with love, not grudges, as we can tend to do. The forgiveness God grants us allows our relationship with Him to grow based on love, despite our wrongdoings. If we don't work toward forgiving others, our relationships with them have a higher chance of failure. When we see someone who we haven't forgiven, that past fault that is still making us angry or upset will be playing in the back of our mind. But if we work toward forgiveness, we can continue to build that relationship based on love and not anger. When thinking about all of the things God forgives us of, we can at least try to forgive others, to look at others with love instead of grudges and anger, to remind ourselves that no one is perfect and we should aim to forgive those imperfections, to know that God forgives us and to use that knowledge to forgive others, to forgive as God forgave us. My friend wasn't doing anything that was permanently harmful to me, just displaying human imperfectness as we all do. Yes, some of the things she did and said were hurtful, but nothing I couldn't try to forgive. I looked past her human imperfections and remembered that she is loved by God too. God still forgives and loves her, and I wanted to be able to forgive and love her too. I was able to forgive her, and we are still really good friends today, building our relationship in growth-filled ways. Is there someone in your life that it would be more beneficial to work toward forgiving them? Someone that you might be holding a long grudge with, but you can instead look at with love and forgiveness. God asks us to forgive as He forgave us and as He has forgiven them. What could that look like for you today?